hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we'll continue our discussion with sensors transducers and instrumentation so in this video again we will discuss about level measurement but with the help of inductive uh, sensor or inductive transducer method so in the previous video we discussed the capacitive method here we'll discuss the inductive uh, sensor method so the inductive method of measurement of liquid level it involves using the basic inductive transducer where one part of that sensor the movable part is connected to a float system which is placed on the liquid so whenever there is a change in the liquid level this movable part it moves up and down and that leads to a change in inductance so before going into detail let us just discuss the basic concepts uh, related to inductive transducer we have already uh, discussed it in separate video related to an inductive sensor so i want you to please check that video in detail because here I will be going in, in, a, in a quick way because I have already made separate video on this so basic inductive sensor it uh, which is used for the measurement of various uh, physical parameters such as displacement speed force torque it is based on the principle of change of inductance and there are three important parts of inductive sensor which is core armature which are made of a ferromagnetic materials and the third important part which is important here which leads to change in inductance is the air gap distance so it looks something like this we have a ferromagnetic core armature and the air gap the distance between the ferromagnetic core and the armature so the core is semicircular type which consists of a number of turns of coil which is connected to a voltage source and this is the flux path small r is the radius of the core and t is the thickness of the armature and the air gap distance is d so here another important thing comes into play which is the concept of reluctance okay which is the property of magnetic circuit which opposes the flow of magnetic flux reluctance is given by length of the flux path divided by absolute and relative permeability product and the area of the flux path so here in case of the inductive sensor three reluctances come into play core reluctance armature reluctance and air gap reluctance okay three reluctances they come into play which gives us the total reluctance core reluctance is given by this r by mu 0 mu c r square which is like this pi r the air gap reluctance is 2d by mu 0 pi r square armature reluctance is like this uh, r by mu 0 mu a r t now here core and armature reluctance they are fixed because all the parameters associated with them such as the radius the number of turns of coil the thickness they are all fixed the only thing which is variable here which is changing here is the air gap distance why because this armature is movable it is mobile it is connected to the point where displacement is to be measured and that causes movement of the armature which causes a change in the air gap distance so only the air gap reluctance 2d by mu 0 pi r square changes because of the change of d okay because of the change of d so here in case of the inductive method of level measurement this float which is placed on the liquid level is connected to this movable armature and whenever there is a change in the liquid level whether it decreases drops down or increases this float moves along with it up and down movement and as a result of which 
this armature movable armature ferromagnetic armature which is connected to this float it also moves up and down as a result of which there is a change in the air gap distance as a result of which the air gap reluctance it changes as per this relationship and because of the change in air gap reluctance the total reluctance also changes because core reluctance and armature reluctance they are fixed only the air gap reluctance is variable and because of this the total reluctance changes and as per this relationship the sensor the sensor inductance okay that changes as per n square by r total where n is the number of turns of coil so the total reluctance depends on these three reluctances that is core air gap armature core and armature reluctances are fixed air gap reluctance depends on the air gap distance air gap distance depends on the liquid level because it is connected to the float the movable part and that leads to a change in inductance as per this relationship n square by r total that is number of turns of coil square of that divided by the total reluctance so this leads to a change in inductance and this change in inductance can be converted into suitable voltage or current signal with the help of suitable ac bridges then further signal conditioning circuitry such as uh, amplification filtering of noise signals linearization all those things can be done then further analog to digital conversion through sampling quantization and coding can also be done to give us a digital readout but the basic principle it involves connecting the movable armature to the float change in liquid level up and down it will lead to an up and down movement of the armature armature movement will lead to a change in air gap distance air gap distance will lead to a change in air gap reluctance air gap reluctance will lead to a change in total reluctance as per this relationship and total reluctance change lead to a change in inductance sensor inductance as per this relationship okay so here two things are very important first is the change in the air gap reluctance and the other things which are the core and armature reluctance which are fixed and the number of turns of coil that contribute to the sensor inductance but here the main parameter under measurement which is the uh, air gap reluctance or the air gap distance which is dependent on that that depends on the liquid level change okay so the change in liquid level changes the sensor inductance so this is the basic principle related to inductive method of liquid level measurement so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much